Mamta Banerjee's comments on Northeast will burn sparks outrage. Banglai jodi agun lagan, Asamo theme thakbe na, Northeast o theme thakbe na. BJP hits back at Bengal Chief Minister. Amra Mananya Mukhya Minister ei shomos to kathar modde Bangladesh er jamater, emok chhatro shibire. Assam and Manipur chief ministers accused Mamta of politics of failure. Mamta ji ke is bayan se vidro ki durbhavna ki istiti nazarati hai ki jaise wo janta ke kisi hisse ko bhadka karke, rajyum ko bhadka karke, girhe yudh jaisi paristitiyan paida kar. JDU joins BJP's attack on Mamta. Calcutta doctors, uh, rape has only made this issue a bigger issue now. And now everybody is turning towards it and we are now uh, need to concentrate on the real issue. We should be careful that we should not be dragged into the diversion politics of BJP. We should concentrate on the women's security and our daughter's security. Congress says focus on justice, not Mamta's statement. Political war over Bengal rape and murder explodes. Top focus on India first. As doctors continue their protests in Kolkata after the rape and murder of a young lady doctor at the hospital, Mamta Banerjee's comments, if you burn Bengal, Assam, Northeast, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Delhi will also burn. We will topple your chair. Or words to this effect have sparked an angry response from the BJP. BJP MP and Bengal BJP Vice President Saumitra Khan expressed apprehension that a desperate Mamta Banerjee for vote bank politics could even block the chicken's neck corridor, which could then pose a major national security threat. There is a massive political war between the BJP and the TMC, and we get you details. I'm Gaurav Savant. Let's get started with the headlines. Big revelation in the Kolkata rape and murder case, RG Car Hospitals calls to Abhaya's parents accessed by India today. It was the hospital assistant superintendent and not the Bengal police who told the victim's parents that she died by suicide. Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee backtracks after giving out all will burn warning. Mamta says her warning was for the BJP and not protesting doctors. BJP accuses the Bengal Chief Minister of spreading anarchy. Another Malayalam actress accuses co-star of groping her at a film set. Actor and CPM MLA Mukesh booked for sex abuse gets protection from arrest till the 3rd of September. Shocking VVIP Swagat for murder accused Kannada actor Darshan at Karnataka's Bellari prison. Star-stuck cops seen rushing to shake hands with the murder accused. Hunt continues for two more man-eater wolves in Uttar Pradesh's Behraich. Four wolves captured under Operation Bhedia so far. Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has sparked off an angry war of words when she accused Prime Minister of using the BJP to light a fire in Bengal. She said, if you burn Bengal, Assam, the Northeast, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Delhi too shall burn. We will topple your chair. Assam Chief Minister Himant Biswa Sarma hit back saying don't even try to incite India with your politics of failure. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh called a statement irresponsible. BJP ally JDU reacted on the targeting of Bengal and said this is completely unexpected from the Chief Minister of a state. Amra Dashir Fashi Chai. Fashi Chai, Fashi Chai. 
The political face-off over the RG Kaur hospital rape and murder horror escalates. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, in her biggest attack on the BJP, has warned that if Bengal burns, it will spread to other states. Modi Babu, apnaar party ke diye agun laga chen, mone lagven, Bangla ei jodi agun lagan, Assam o theme thakbe na, North East o theme thakbe na, Uttar Pradesh o theme thakbe na, Bihar o theme thakbe na, Jharkhand o theme thakbe na. Mamata's statement made on Wednesday provoked angry reactions from BJP chief ministers, including Himanta Biswa Sarma of Assam, N. Biren Singh of Manipur, and Mohan Maji of Odisha, who accused her of sowing seeds of hatred across the country. The BJP, seizing the moment, sharpened its attacks. मैं मोदी जी को गिरा सकती हूँ। इतना ताकतवर लीडर बंगाल का है। वो सब बोल सकती है। She is now very scared due to massive mass movement against this misrule। बंगाल में कोई कानून नहीं रह गया है। सरकार में बैठे हुए लोग वहाँ आतंक मचाए हुए हैं, लोगों को प्रताड़ित कर रहे हैं, हत्या कर रहे हैं, लूट कर रहे हैं। वहाँ सरकार नहीं चल रही है, वहाँ तो सरकार के नाम पर गुंडा गर्दी चल रही है। तो ऐसे सरकार पर तो तुरंत कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए। The BJP's ally, the JDU in Bihar, has denounced Mamata's statement. जो अफसोस जनक के, निंदनात्मक है, और स्वतंत्र भारत में कभी ऐसी अवसर देखने को नहीं मिले जब किसी प्रदेश का चुना हुआ मुख्यमंत्री अन्य राज्यों के अंदर भी दखल देकर के विद्रोह जैसी स्थिति पैदा करने की धमकी दे रहा है। The Congress, a national ally of the Trinamool, took a more cautious approach. Calcutta doctors rape has only made this issue a bigger issue now, and now everybody is turning towards it, and we are now need to concentrate on the real issue. We should be careful that we should not be dragged into the diversion politics of BJP. We should concentrate on the women's security and our daughter's security. Mamata Banerjee on Thursday toned down her position. In a post on social media, the Chief Minister alleged the BJP with the support of the Government of India is threatening democracy in her state and trying to create anarchy. Mamata clarified that she never threatened protesting doctors. With Rithik Mondal in Kolkata, Bureau Report, India Today. Should a sitting chief minister use words to the effect if you burn Bengal, then Assam, Northeast and Uttar Pradesh or other parts of the country will burn? Is it acceptable for a sitting chief minister to use this kind of language? Or is the BJP twisting her words out of context, especially after she's issued that clarification? Joining me on this special broadcast is Saira Shah Halim, a respected women's rights activist and CPIM leader from Bengal. Sardar R.P. Singh is national spokesperson of the BJP. Anirban Banerjee is a political analyst who will give us the Trinamool Congress perspective. Uh, and Anirban, if I could begin by asking you, sir, BJP says this yeah. is not the kind of language used by the chief minister of a state, a threat to burn the Northeast and other states in the country. They, they allege this is language of frustration because of a mass movement. See, the BJP being an anti-Bengal and anti-Bengali party, even though some of their workers and leaders might understand Bangla language very well, they will willfully twist things uh, to suit their narrative. But as a responsible uh, media channel, uh, Gaurav, the least you could at least do is properly translate whatever the chief minister has said in Bangla. Uh, I have no problems if someone uh, criticizes a political persona because criticism is part of uh, politics and any leader has to face every criticism, fair, unfair, whatever it might be. But as a media channel, when you are Sir, not translating... Please, okay, answer on facts. Did she or did she not say if Bengal no, burns, these she states will burn? She did not. She I will play not. that out for you. I will play yes, that out for you. We will let our viewers decide. I will no, the only I, no let me play that out for you. Yeah, please. Okay. What, no, go go ahead. As you as we bring that out, okay. go ahead. What were you saying? Only only the viewers who are proficient in Bangla language will understand that the translation that you have done is completely wrong. What she said, if you are, if, if you want to translate it, if you want to ask me to translate it, was that 
if the bjp uh, tries to ignite uh, fire in bengal then the states including assam northeast uttar pradesh bihar uh, that's Delhi, exactly Chakan, what we said if no, you wait, 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 you wait, or bjp wait, wait 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 let me translate let huh. me translate then these states including mm -hmm. west bengal would fight back against the bjp that is a more appropriate translation never did she mention that these states will also burn that particular word these states will burn for the benefit of our viewers let's play out what mamta banerjee said for the benefit of our viewers let's play that out she said themeth keu keu mone korchen eta bangladesh ami bangladesh ke bhalobashi ora amader moto kotha bole oder sanskriti amader sanskriti ek kintu mone rakhben bangladesh ekta alada rashtro bharotborsh ekta alada rashtro modi babu আপনার পার্টিকে দিয়ে আগুন লাগাচ্ছেন মনে রাখবেন বাংলায় যদি আগুন লাগান আসামও থেমে থাকবে না নর্থ ইস্টও থেমে থাকবে না উত্তর প্রদেশও থেমে থাকবে না বিহারও থেমে থাকবে না ঝাড়খণ্ড থেমে থাকবে না উড়িষ্যাও থেমে থাকবে না আর দিল্লিও থেমে থাকবে না আপনার চেয়ারটা আমরা টলমলো করে দেব Saira Shah Alim is this the language of frustration as the BJP puts it what do you make of Mamta Banerjee's comments if Bengal burns the northeast too will burn as will other parts of the country Yeah so good evening Gaurav I think Mamta Banerjee's statements have been very provocative and senseless absolutely she needed a diversion and I think the Bharatiya Janata Party is giving it to her on a plate on a platter because we've seen a very very legit moment of doctors of activists of nurses on the ground for the last 15 16 days and she wanted to divert the public's attention away from the moment which is very anti government because people here wanted justice and if you see the build up of the cover ups the whole incident sorted details of the rj car incident there's a complete cover up whether it was granting uh, repeated transfers to the principal of rj car where, uh, or whether she handled you know the uh, assistant superintendent when they called up the parents uh, you know of the uh, lady doctor it was a complete lie firstly they say your daughter is unwell then they say she's died by suicide and then you know after a couple of hours uh, this whole uh, the parents they made the parents wait for 3 hours so we have seen the different scams in west bengal education scam where okay. 26000 people lost their jobs we have seen the narda sharda we have seen the chit fund scam and now in front of the citizen of india this whole medical scam is getting unearthed so she is making these statements just to you know like dramatize this whole thing and to deflect the attention away from the core issue the burning issue okay. which is women's security and safety you RP know concerning Singh, the rg car incident so, okay rp singh diversionary tactics her statement are a diversionary tactics is what saira shah halim says the chief minister and the tmc however they've clarified that the focus was on bjp's actions in bengal if the bjp tries to burn bengal there will be consequences where the police were targeted tmc says her statement is very clear modi babu is using his party to cause a fire if you burn bengal there will be consequences Gaurav, uh, for your uh, viewers' information, my wife is from Bengal, and her name is also Mamta. She is not Mamba, Mamta uh, Energy. Her name is Mamta Singh, and she is from Singh family. Although uh, she has been born and brought up in Bengal, uh, Bengal, and I spoke to her and I asked her the exact translation. And what you are tracing is that exact translation. She 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 understands Bengali very well. so you can you can back out now uh, although mamta banji has tried to back out by saying no 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 i was trying to target bjp i was not trying to come out i was not not threatening students hindi mein kaha tha kani saas ko sunani bahu ko so she was actually trying to threaten the students that don't dare to do anything i can i can dislodge i can create ruckus in other states i can do anything to you also but that's the anarchism at the peak i mean that's what mamta banerjee has done from 1993 onward but she she did she started her career by Doing the same, but the sad part is she is doing it all to shift the focus from the issue of what is happening, the way the law and order has failed, the way Mamta Banerjee herself was protesting against herself. The uh, the Mamta Banerjee Bandopadhyay was 
protesting against the uh, CM, the the uh, the health minister, okay. the uh, home minister of the state. So this clearly shows how it happens. I remember I have another example, just recent example of, of similar uh, uh, way of wriggling out. Uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi said in the parliament, Hindu hinsak hote hain. And later on, he said, no, no, I was targeting BJP. I was not talking about Hindus at all. Okay, but so let's, let's Manjab... stick to Mamta Banerjee for a moment. Anirban Banerjee, BJP MP and West Bengal, BJP Vice President Saumitra Khan, he says that he's apprehensive that Mamta Banerjee for vote bank politics may even block the sensitive chicken's neck corridor and would, would try and cut off the Northeast. How do you look, you look at statements like these when the BJP says the entire focus of Mamta Banerjee is to, is to shift the attention away from the lapses of the government, the complicity of the government, as they put it, in the R.G. Kar case. Let's for a moment consider that all the accusations by the BJP are true. Therefore, uh, the question remains, what is the CBI doing? Uh, all the insinuations, all the allegations, all the accusations that the BJP or any other party uh, workers or leaders are making, uh, isn't it up to the CBI to do their job? They have got 15 days now. Uh, since they took over uh, the investigation from the Kolkata police. The Kolkata police had arrested one prime accused within 12 hours of the incident coming to light. And till now, 15 days have passed. Please multiply that with 24 hours. And please answer as to what the progress of the CBI is right now. There has been accusations galore. But not a no, but accusations including when, a, when, a, when there was an attempt to show a murder, a rape and murder as suicide. I'm sure that the TMC would not like to brazen its way out through such a nobody, serious, such a serious uh, uh, mess up where a murder and a rape is shown as suicide. First of all, nobody showed the uh, incident as suicide. Somebody from the college, from the medical college, allegedly called up the family members and claimed that it was a suicide. So it has been 15 sir, we've days played now. It out. It's not allegedly. We've pay, played out those audio Fine. clips. So on what is the today. CBI doing, sir? If that audio clip, whatever you're playing out, didn't hear it. If it is true, let us consider that it is true. So what has the CBI done for the 15 days? You have got hold of the audio clip. You know everything. I am not referring to you personally, but everybody seems to know everything about the case, but except the CBI. What okay. is the CBI doing for 15 days now is the only question. So are you made. saying that Mamta Banerjee's government or the administration reinstating that doctor is also par for course? Nothing. Uh, there were no lapses on the part of the Bengal government. But uh, Saira Shah Halim wants to respond. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, I don't know whether you've heard, you know, I'm just telling the TMC spokesperson, the TMC representative, the three frantic calls that were made, you know, by the RGK representative to the uh, victim's family. Your daughter is not well. Two, she's died by suicide. Come fast, come sight. Why were they misleading the parents? That's the bone of suspicion. And again, within a couple of hours, you know, the principal of RGK gets transferred to a plush posting. So all these, mm. then you see that there's a sudden renovation, you know, of the RG car hospital, you know, where, where these incidents happened just a couple of, you know, meters away, this renovation takes place. I mean, come on, why couldn't okay. the renovation take place two years ago or can one I, year ago? That? And that also, when the CBI is already on its job, Okay. To gather evidences, then you all decide to renovate that whole that? area. Yes, sir, sir you must answer that. But I also want to bring in R.P. Singh on a very pertinent point that you have raised. Institutional cover. R.P. Singh, the CBI has been investigating this case, as the TMC very rightly says, for over 15 days. What have they found? It was the, the TMC, uh, it, was, it was the Bengal police that arrested the accused and handed him over to the CBI on a platter. What further investigations have happened? What did Bengal police said after arresting that man? They allowed the crowd, the uh, crowd which was probably instigated, I don't know, but uh, probably instigated by the TMC it itself and tried to uh, destroy the evidence in the hospital. So it, once the evidence has been destroyed, it takes time for uh, the CBI. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not the spokesman of the CBI, but apparently it takes time for CBI to collect the, all the uh, evidences which have been destroyed by the uh, the gundas or the uh, the uh, the gang which was led by the uh, people uh, instig uh, who, who were instigated by tmc probably tmc workers okay so or, or they were the people themselves we don't know let the cbi come with inquiry okay but anirban who, managing who, go okay go on sir complete your point but who who to whom is mamta banerjee trying to shield sandeep ghosh 
a man who's a dealer of the dead bodies, corpse. Man, who, who used to deal and who used to sell uh, the body parts. Sir, but if this is true, it needs to come out in investigations and the CBI needs to take action against the accused instead of these becoming political insinuations in a, in a, in a, in a debate. Uh, but Anirban Banerjee respond to both the points made by Saira Shah Halim and by yes. Sardar R.P. Singh, very pertinent yes, points being raised that yes. the needle of suspicion, the crime scene was tampered with, that construction activity that suddenly started, the goons who suddenly entered the hospital. These are questions that, that raises very, many doubts, sir. True. Okay. So, first of all, I'll answer them categorically one by one. Number one, regarding the destruction of evidence. Uh, so, first of all, let us consider that evidence, material evidence, tangible evidence was uh, destroyed. Now, those people who are actually uh, accusing that evidence was destroyed, none of them could actually point out, uh, I asked many of them that please list out number one, number two, number three, that these are the evidence that was supposed to be there but were destroyed. Nobody could answer that. I wish the CBI would answer that, number one. Number two, regarding the audio clip that Saira was referring to, you have caught hold of the audio clip. The media has caught hold of the audio clip. But has the CBI caught hold of the person who was uh, supposedly calling from the uh, medical college uh, as assistant super or nursing super, whatever she was? These audio clips, I do not know from where you got this. Okay. So again, if these are true, please submit it to the CBI. We have nothing to hide. Nobody is trying to save anyone. Okay. Number three, number three regarding Shundip Ghosh, even the case of uh, these economic offenses, uh, the organ uh, smuggling, etc., so whatever they are, again, that has been taken up by the CBI under the order of the court, of course. And the ED has also come into the picture. So if the CBI finds anything, go ahead, put him behind the bars. For the last two weeks, we have seen Shundip Ghosh attending the CBI office in the morning, coming back home okay. in the evening. Has he been employed by the CBI? Well, let's just wait and see how these investigations progress. But the question still remains, should a sitting chief minister of a state like Bengal make the kind of statements that Mamta Banerjee did? We leave it for our viewers to decide to all my guests. Many thanks for joining me. I have breaking news that's coming in, an important breaking news that's coming in. INS Arighat, India's second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, was commissioned on Thursday in Vishaka Patnam. INS Arighat, it's a nuclear-powered submarine. It's a big statement of intent made by India. And this nuclear-powered submarine can carry up to 12 K-15 submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Now, these missiles have a range of between 700 and 800 kilometers or it can also carry four nuclear-armed K-4 submarine-launched ballistic missiles. And these missiles have a huge range of over 3,000 kilometers. And that makes Indian Navy virtually invincible in the Indian Ocean region. And there's more. There are more submarines in the works, including nuclear attack submarines that India is working on. Bigger nuclear submarines. I want to quickly cut across to India today's Shiv Arur, who joins us for more on this. And Shiv, what a statement being made by India on dominating the Indian Ocean region. Now with the commissioning of the second nuclear part submarine, INS Arighat today, the silent killer on the prowl, Shiv. A very big milestone day, Gaurav, uh, for India's strategic deterrent. Uh, you know, one of the most complex things to build uh, a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. The second that India has built has just been welcomed into service. Uh, she's called INS Arighat. She's taken her time to come, uh, but finally she's in service. We do know uh, that today there was an... Uh, you know, the media was obviously kept out of the commissioning ceremony for obvious reasons, uh, but Raksha Mantri, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh was there to commission INS Arigat uh, into uh, service with the Indian Navy. Uh, as you know, the Indian Navy is the operator of the submarine, uh, but, the na but the submarine itself is administered by India's uh, Strategic Forces Command, which is India's nuclear command, uh, because this is not an ordinary conventional weapon. The INS Arigat, like its uh, elder sister, INS Arihant, uh, is a ballistic missile submarine, which means uh, it's part of India's nuclear deterrent. Uh, these aren't submarines that you, uh, you know, put into harm's way or put out to war. Uh, these are basically there to send a message to India's adversaries that should you 
provoke India using nuclear weapons of any kind, then the weapons fired from submarines like these will basically uh, translate into your destruction and make no mistake of that. Now, the INS Arighat, we do know, is much more advanced. It's a similar-sized submarine uh, to the INS Arihant, which was uh, commissioned a few years ago and is already in service with the yes. Nuclear Command. The INS Arighat is better in every way. Similar size, but more missiles, uh, you know, a more advanced combat system, obviously nuclear-powered. Uh, many internal structures have been optimized a great deal. Many of the learnings from the Arihant uh, submarine uh, have been uh, incorporated uh, in the Arighat. Uh, so in every possible way, it is a, uh, it, it, it's a, it's a, a much higher performing submarine uh, than its elder sister. So the Indian Navy, the Strategic Forces Command, very much, uh, you know, uh, very much in a mood to welcome this second platform. Remember, for a long time, India had that one boomer, as they're called, yes. nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. Now India has two. Uh, they will be building, uh, there are plans to build two more of a similar kind, then uh, uh, India has plans to build uh, you know, a, 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 a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine almost double the size of the Arighat and the Arihant, you know, about 12,000 tons, which would truly be uh, an enormous strategic platform. Uh, and we also know, Gaurav, that uh, the Indian, uh, Indian government is involved in trying to build nuclear-powered attack submarines as well. So everything is coming along really, really well. A big momentous day for the commissioning crew of INS Arighat. And that truly, truly shows India's capabilities. Atmanirbhar Bharat, truly Shiv, for joining me here. Many thanks. The silent killer on the prowl in the Indian Ocean region or anywhere across. Because these, these silent killers, they are underwater. They could be anywhere. But then there is an assured second strike, should there be, God forbid, an attempt on India. These are weapons of deterrence.